हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ ऋषिकेश शाहरूर एंड दिस इज माई सेकेंड पॉडकास्ट दिस इज़ नॉट एन एवरी डे लोकल ब्लॉग यू रीड इन फैक्ट दिस इज ए हार्ट फेल्ट थैंक्स गिविंग पीस फ्रॉम अ लोकल पीपल राइट अ लॉट अबाउट मुंबई हाउ एक्साइटिंग दिस प्लेस इज विद ऑल इट्स सीनिक बीच एंड ऑफकोर्स बॉलीवुड there has been a genuine effort by locals to identify the beauty of this city and to portray the same through various media but this piece is different in many aspects this article will shed light on the lesser known shades of mumbai mumbai city and suburb form the core mumbai district of maharashtra state we all know this we also know that mumbai is a financial capital is the financial capital of india what we rarely recognize are the diverse groups of people living in the country city mumbai welcomes every aspirant who wants to build a successful life in the metropolis the city gave me so much it gave me an opportunity to identify myself the importance i have for myself it gave me the values of understanding and sacrificing for the needy sharing and caring are the only two words that can give the right justice to mumbai city Mumbai is a place for rich, the poor and the middle. Yes, we are still living in the class system, unaware of whether we are living in a modern world or in a traditional class-based society. The city has many rich heritage places and buildings that define its giving attitude. Yes, like with every good thing comes a bad thing. Mumbai city also has its fair shares of evil. The city can sometimes be curbing towards the poor the ones living in slums that's what sets this city apart from other cities in the world even in the in the poorest state people have managed to build successful lives in this city and mumbai has given them every chance to prove their self worth mumbai discriminates sometimes but also rewards many times in ways only one can imagine the city has a world famous red light area which is rarely talked about i know right you must be clicked as where i'm going with this red light areas are bad but the fact is that they are present and none can be done about it for some this place may seem like a glorious feast for physical pleasures for some this place can be a vulgar portrayal of physical sham and there are some who accept both and move on in their life in the middle of this mess are those women about whom nobody wishes to talk was it their fault they ended up at such a place or was it the society's fault that they had to live at such a place this city is the beauty both like and unlike minded live here in harmony without bothering each other's opinions mumbai is also home to the largest transgender community in india they are worshiped in unimaginable ways mumbai's dabbawala are known throughout the globe for being a well organized group of food deliverers A salute to these men who tirelessly travel in the trains of Mumbai struggling their way through a swarm of challenges and finally delivering food to the intended customer. Train in Mumbai is the most reliable aspect of travel. We can only imagine what would have happened to the city if there was no train, no interconnected travel mode. The city provides to everyone every day without expecting anything. The city has an intimate relationship with its people, people of all sorts, all languages, all castes, all religions and all sects unite in Mumbai. They call themselves Mumbaikar and that means a lot for a city that cares for far more than what the people deserve. Yet, we are in a transition phase of becoming from the most carefree citizen to the most caretaking. a subject that is infamously talked about in the media and the world presently that is sexual abuse is addressed by the city in an affirmative manner 
locals traveling to work business have understood and are conditioning their minds to appreciate the value of a woman to love every woman provide shelter and security to them with an open heart but yes mumbai needs a chance to prove to its people that it can be a safe haven for anyone Mumbai city allows anyone who wants to experience their full potential at achieving something like a booster for disposition some other lesser known lesser talked issues include the slums of Dharavi and Masjid Bandar what can we do for these people we can provide support and jobs to these people so that in return they can help build Mumbai into a thriving place Mumbai city has exotic rich places like Pawai Hiranandani and Churchgate. We talked about the poor. Now let's peep into the poor who live within the areas built by the rich. However, these issues have been addressed in a nominal way. It will take us some time to create an equal opportunity for ourselves wherein both rich and poor live in equal homes. This is a subject that has much debated in Mumbai. not just mumbai but is a heated topic in every suburb big or small perhaps we can try our best to appreciate the good and bad about this wonderful place well trying isn't even a word that the city deserves the city deserves capable citizens and yes it is on the verge of happening and soon mumbai will be a place with all three sharing caring and equality Thank you so much.